Hi, this is Rodney Robinson, and you're listening to The Passive Investor Show. The views and opinions provided on this show are for informational purposes only and should not be misinterpreted as an offer to buy or sell any securities or to make or consider any investment or course of action. For more information, please go to PassiveInvestorShow.com. Hey, PI listeners, this is John Fortes. I'm making it a point to speak to as many investors as possible. My goal is to position myself to be a blessing to my network through conversation. How could one be a blessing through conversation? The easy answer is by listening. A simple conversation can open many opportunities and doors. I always ask myself this, what do I have to lose by having one more conversation? Going back to high school, I've connected friends and family in my network to one another, even if it didn't benefit me. And I continue those same principles and practices. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. If I can't help you, I probably know someone or something that can probably solve your problem. I'd love for you to become a part of that network. Go to www.johnfortes.com, create your investor profile, and schedule a call. How can I best serve you through conversation? In the words of Clarence the Angel from It's a Wonderful Life, no man is a failure who has friends. And now, The Passive Investor Show. Here's your host, John Fortes. Welcome, PI listeners, to The Passive Investor Show. I'm the Passive Investor Consultant, John Fortes, your host of the only ranked podcast for passive investors in multifamily syndications and real estate funds. Our goal and purpose of this show is to be a resource to investors and help them master their passive investments by beating inflation 1% at a time. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you this special message. Hey everyone, if you manage your own rental properties, aren't you looking for a more sufficient way to streamline your to-do list and make the leasing process easier? Apartments.com lets you list your units, screen and receive applications, create leases, collect rent, and track maintenance and expenses, all on the number one rental network for free. That's right, for free. Apartments.com isn't just for apartments. 29 million monthly visitors visit the site for all types of listings, like single family homes, duplexes, condos, and townhomes. Renters view these specific listings over 100 million times per month. This valuable exposure and a robust suite of resources are available to you as a landlord for free. And it's all online, so you can access this information anywhere at any time. If you're ready to find the perfect tenant, get started today by listing your units on the number one rental network. Go to apartments.com forward slash John Fortes. That's apartments.com forward slash John Fortes. Why not take advantage of the free tools right at our fingertips? Go to apartments.com forward slash John Fortes. It's free. Just in case you didn't get enough of Robbie. Ro- Just in case you didn't get enough of Rodney Robinson. We brought him back for our infamous quick hitter investor 101 series. Rodney Robinson of Robinson Capital shares his investment journey and passive investor education t- content twice a week. Rodney Robinson of Robinson Capital shares his investment journey and passive investor education content twice twice weekly on his blog at RodneyRobinsonII.com. That's RodneyRobinsonII.com. Welcome to the show, Rodney. Welcome back, Rodney. Welcome back. Thank you, John. It's an honor. Good to be back twice. Hey, man. Hey, man. You're so nice. We had to do it twice, right? Here we go. Here we go. Rodney. With your experience, I want to know, like, two quick questions. Why would you start a fund uh, for your investment firm as you're just starting out? Why would you do that? So I like the fund model, especially when it comes down to being able to raise capital quickly and have the flexibility to find and secure a deal much more quickly than you would with the deal-by-deal typical traditional syndication model. 
And I know capital is typically a limiting factor when it comes to being able to close on that multifamily asset uh, for a lot of a lot of syndicators. So the fund, I believe, is pretty much next level for most people, but they they really don't realize it's something they could probably do today. Absolutely, absolutely. You said a few things like that really jumped out at me. You can close on deals quicker. You can partner quicker. You can uh, JV and you know kind of bring you know help others that are finding deals. You know what I mean? So like that, it's three uses. It's co GP when syndications. It's co uh, joint ventures, and it's also finding your own deals. There's three uses of the fund. It gives you tons of flexibility. Now I understand as an investor, you know, you're you're typically investing in a blind pool when it comes to a fund, right? But if you're right. real like focused and you got it laid out in your criteria, for instance, what if you're investing in a multifamily only fund? Why would you invest in a fund? Well, I'll tell you why I would and, and why I did and why I think people should be interested in this, especially working professionals. So your 401k, even the stocks and the other exchange traded funds that people invest in, they're, they're blind. You don't know exactly, you know, what you're, you're betting on, but just like with syndications, what's most important for a passive investor is that they know and trust the person that they're working with. So that I talk about it a lot. I write it about, I write about it a lot on the blog for a new passive investor. The most important thing is understanding who it is that you're working with ensuring that there's an alignment of interest and that the criteria, um, your investment criteria is matched by what the, the sponsor says he or she can do for you and your investment goals. So when you are presented with an opportunity to invest in a fund, just as I was, and you see that we're looking for multifamily asset classes, um, mass, multifamily asset class, small, typically in the Southeast region and the value add strategy, and that totally aligns with what you're trying to do, then you know that, especially for a multifamily specific fund, that whatever is closed on meets that criteria. And it also helps with the flexibility for you as a passive investor when it comes to you and the targeted returns and your goals for diversification. I definitely resonate with everything you just said. And you know, we talk about this all the time and especially useful for people that have self-directed IRAs, solo Ks, because those, those type of accounts don't do anything unless you're putting them to work, right? So like right. If, if you hold, you know, 50,000 back in distributions from a previous deal, previous couple of deals, right? Because you're compounding it and you're really driving it. That 50,000 really isn't serving you well until you find that next deal to put it in. So it right. can start compounding for you a little bit more. So I like to call that dead money. You know what I mean? Yep. So, um, you know, putting that to use into a fund or, uh, you know, a deal by deal, however investors choose to invest these days. But I really find that the fund provides a lot more diversification, which I, uh, I didn't touch on in the, you know, in the first question. But yeah, man, uh, you hit everything on the head. I love it, Rodney. Rodney, how can we stay in touch with you? So I have a blog that releases new articles twice a week. If you go to my website, it's RodneyRobinsonTheSecond.com, RodneyRobinsonII.com. And uh, as a free gift to any visitor, we, uh, we have a passive investor startup guide. So I'd love for you to check it out and reach out anytime. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for stopping by, Rodney. We really enjoyed the conversation. Thank you, John. Don't forget to download your free copy of the investment tracker. It allows you to track up to five investments, compare sponsors, markets, and most importantly, projected versus actual returns. To get your copy, go to www.projectedreturns.com. PI listeners, thank you for listening. As always, we hope this was the best resource for your investment strategy, but also the best use of your time. Remember, if this episode helps you, you can help us by leaving a review on iTunes. I hope you feel compelled enough to share it with someone you think this would resonate with as well. As much as it pains us to leave you, but you know what time it is. Time to go put this into practice. Till the next time we meet, happy investing. PI listeners, I'm grateful for your time and I appreciate you for listening. It would mean the world to me if you went to iTunes and left a rating and written review. Let me know how you feel about the show. 
It really makes a big difference with getting the podcast out there. Don't forget about our Facebook group, where all of our guests are members of. I'll be there to answer any of your questions, or even questions you might have for future guests. Subscribe so you can get the latest episodes and our fan favorite quick hitters. Finally, I want to keep you updated, so head over to johnfortes.com and sign up for the newsletter. If you're interested in partnering with me, sign up on the contact page so you can talk to me directly. I look forward to connecting with you. Happy investing.